Hi, I'm Rob Jian from Dynatrace's Technical Alliances team. I'm very excited to introduce Dynatrace's advanced observability platform and show how we integrate, complement, and extend Azure monitoring. Let's get started with why we created our platform. As we all know, digital transformation is happening everywhere, and at the core of every business is now powered by software. In fact, many organizations essentially are becoming software companies in how they think and operate. Transformation is accelerating faster than ever, and operating in the cloud is now the new norm. But some of the challenges of modernizing and moving to the cloud are things like lack of information for planning decisions. There's a loss of knowledge around the code structure, how we aggregate things into a single view, and we lack these answers for planning. There's also a lack of a new operating model to power, uh, and to power the governance and the business reviews, performance, etc., within the new hybrid cloud environment. There's often inconsistent resource organization patterns and security controls. So what we need to do is also ensure service levels as these workloads shift. But this is more complex from the virtualized cloud dynamic environments, and the current tools don't support often microservices and containers in real time. And as a result, there's just too much time looking for root cause. The volume and velocity of all this data and tools and alerts across many tools is a real challenge to try to have a unified team across dev, biz, and ops. So we've heard a lot about an industry around observability, and it's important to remember that as, as we do this change, it's important that we ensure perfect end user experience. But the reality is many companies are flying blind. Observability tools and practices often ignore end user experience. They fail to put the application and infrastructure performance into the context of business outcomes. And there's also just a lot of tools out there that just don't talk to each other. And all this translates often to a lack of uh, understanding and potentially customer impact and brand damage. So a new way is needed. And so this is where Dynatrace is offering a solution to help you with your monitoring strategy to meet these new needs in a new model. And so we feel like these capabilities are key. One, you must have an advanced observability across the entire environment without relying on many tools. You need to have continuous automation to reduce the burden of your talent and have AI help you cut through all the noise. Lastly, we must bring everyone together on the same page so that we're all working on the same viewpoint and focusing on the business and perfect user experiences. So Dynatrace is an all-in-one platform, and that's what we're going to walk through, that delivers best-in-class APM solution, infrastructure monitoring, digital experience monitoring, and AI built into it. Here's some of the capability areas real quick. So we have infrastructure monitoring, applications and microservices, which are great for the new cloud technologies, being able to see things real time, have distributed tracing across the cloud. We also have security built in with runtime vulnerability detection, impact analysis, risk scoring, and of course, as mentioned, the digital experience of the users understanding the mobile and browser activities, as well as the APIs that power these things. And then we have insights because we have all this data now across all these different layers and we have insights to understand what's happening real time. And then automation is key, as mentioned. In order to scale, we need to have our, tie, our tools tied into an ecosystem as we deliver software and are dealing with issues as they come up. So Dynatrace, just want to introduce the, the technologies that make up Dynatrace. We have five different technologies that sets us apart. First of all, we have a one agent that's continuously monitoring your environment by installing this on the host level, whether it's Windows or Linux. There's many different operating systems. We are continually discovering the processes and the services that make up those processes. And we put these things as in context through what we call a pure path, which is our distributed tracing technology, uh, which goes across the tiers. And that's also, as a note, we are now natively supporting open telemetry as part of a, a collector uh, to, to integrate the one agent, pure paths, as well as uh, the open, open tracing standards. And all this gets put into a context or a topology model, which will we'll show some screenshots of what this looks like, of having the context real time without having to build this yourself. And then all this data is being constantly baselined and driven into our AI engine to help you understand impact automatically without configuring individual thresholds and eliminating just hundreds of alert rules and alert storms. We're giving you a smart answer as a result. And we are, we are proven to scale across thousands of hosts, millions of entities. We are working with some of the largest customers in retail, banking, insurance, other industries, and we know that we can handle this. When you're thinking about your moving to the cloud or in enhancing your, 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 your platforms, 
there's some common kind of modernization strategies that are taking place. So this is pretty well known where we're moving from an app, rehosting, refactoring. Sometimes these are the R migration strategies. And you can see my Microsoft uh, link on the bottom, which talks about the different journeys. But key to this is understanding what's happening with your application, understanding what it means after you've transformed, understanding are you impacting the users as a result. So the question you need to ask is, are you prepared for that? And what we're going to lead in now is really how we can help you in that if you're not. So let's review how we can help you reduce risk and move faster to achieve better outcomes. So looking at Microsoft's cloud adoption framework, it's really about these kind of typical phases of strategy planning, readiness, and adoption. And this is often also targeted to landing zones, whether you're doing a big bang or individual workloads. So along the way, Dynatrace is going to help with planning early on, giving you insights into your current state. And as we go into the migration, we're, we have tremendous support for all cloud native technologies, containerization, so we're prepared with you. And then we have a great ability to monitor what's happening to the customers through service levels and user behavior to see what's happening during and post migrations and modernizations. And then we have a great ability for understanding real time what's happening and get to the root cause of problems as they come up. So I don't like dig into each of these a little bit more closely. So starting with, with uh, insights for planning, as mentioned, we have the Smartscape technology. So this has a vertical stack visibility with automatic dependency mapping through the PurePath technology that allows us to see what's happening between services, across services, and really gives you this view. So all of this is automatic to let you understand where things are running, what other things are dependencies upon, upon each other. And you can see that we can have uh, data centers in the cloud identified. We can have your on-premise data centers. So this is just a great automatic topology map. This is a view of what's called a service flow. So it's taking that same data, another visualization of this information, where we can see a real-time picture of what's happening. So this is just an example of where we may understand what downstream services are called. And as we're making those decisions on our migration patterns, we can help identify and understand you know, the usage, the volumes, and the dependencies. As mentioned, the cloud support technologies, Dynatrace is a trusted source for Azure monitoring. We incorporate the compute resources through our one, one agent technology, and we also have full support of all the services that publish to Azure monitoring. You can take a look on our website here, dynatrace.com technologies, and understand how all this feeds into uh, Dynatrace automatically. And as mentioned, we have a lot of support for new technologies, including Kubernetes services out of the box. So here's a, a dashboard that's showing the cluster health, workload summary, pod level information. And this is a great way to understand this. And this is happening through also our one agent technology, which can be deployed into the Kubernetes cluster. Moving on to the ne next point, as we're ensuring customers are impacted, Dynatrace is not, as mentioned, not just an infrastructure monitoring tool or an application monitoring tool. It's also understanding what's happening with the end users. So we're able to, through pulling out metrics from the browser at transactions through server-side transactions, be able to bubble up things like, what are the revenue happening with these transactions? Where's the geography of things? What's the customer profile? Are they, the, are they a gold, platinum, silver customer? Where are they in their sales funnel? So this is a great way to combine real-time activity of the monitoring with the business view, letting business users see this data so everyone's on the same page with what the priorities are. And as mentioned, we can validate things like end user experience, whether that's from app decks raising ratings, um, seeing what's happening with the health of sessions. We can also see breakdown of what's happening with, with the browser time load times, whether the problem is on the front end and the back end and JavaScript errors. This can also be achieved from real user activity as well as synthetic traffic into a combined view. And what we do with this information from an operational standpoint, we're really heavily focused on service level objectives and monitoring. This is a, a, just a view of one of our dashboards that talks about the service level objectives that can be defined on different, different levels of the system, whether it's availability, application performance, user activity, service levels can be even established on business metrics and transactions. So depending on your requirements, service levels are, are also at the heart of Dynatrace. And lastly, the area around uh, automating operations is our root cause analysis. So at the heart of Dynatrace is our AI engine, which we call Davis. And what it's doing is taking all the events, metrics that's, that are automatically being baselined and feeding this into a real-time monitoring view. And so as these things get combined, if there's a deviation or, or events that cause problems, it's feeding into our causation engine. We're not correlating data. We have a very 
deep causation engine of cause and effect to say when this happens and that happens, then maybe there's a problem. So we open up a problem window. And then from that, we stitch together all the other relationships, such as what's the business impact? What, what's happening to the users during this time and this impact? How many services are impacted? How many applications are impacted? And then because of the cause and effect engine, we can see what is the, the root cause of this, which really narrows down a more complex environment to the, the rightful owner so that problem can be remediated. So just a couple, a couple other highlights around Azure monitoring. We have just great, great um, ability to roll out the agent at scale through ARM extensions. As mentioned, we have the Azure Monitor where this all the cloud, the, the cloud metrics coming from Azure Monitor feed in. We have support for containerization and Kubernetes. We support Azure Functions. We also have integration with, with other Microsoft products to kind of combine into an ecosystem of tools. And speaking of that, what we're trying to do here is take the, the data that's coming from Dynatrace, that's not just the typical three pillars of observability of traces, logs, and metrics. We're combining it with the topology, the code level insights, the metadata, the behavior, as well as the ingestion of other data to give you that complete view of your system. And by exposing all of this through a rich set of APIs, we're now able to integrate into your DevOps tooling. So as pipelines are executing, we can do monitoring as code to have that automatically configured. We can validate the code as it's being deployed through, through the environment. We can also tie these types of behaviors into our business automation tools to help with prioritization. And then, of course, we were really pushing towards an automated operation environment, tying this into our workflow management tools for incident management, change management, and then ultimately driving these things into automatic runbooks. So this is all possible because we have a great partnership with Microsoft. We've, we've been, for many years, a trusted partner. We have a long history doing um, um, monitoring of all the major uh, capabilities of compute. And as a result of, the, of our partnership and working with joint customers, we've been identified by Gartner as being a leader in five out of six use cases spanning from operations to DevOps. And that's a, that's a, that's a great, great testament to uh, our, our abilities. And, and Dynatrace is also available through the Azure Marketplace. We are a, a strong partner uh, with, with the Marketplace team. We're able to kind of work with you and your local sales team to do this. And, also, and we also have support for Azure Government Cloud. And just, just to know, this is one case study, just to kind of validate this. We've been working with uh, Barbary recently. They're the world's largest bar and prep or uh, legal education firm. And Azure Cloud was offering on-demand scalability for these guys, but they wanted greater visibility during the scaling as to not impact the users that were taking courses and exams. They had a plethora of tools that did, not, that did not scale well across their landscape and made it difficult to manage their environment. So this is where Dynatrace came in. So by working with Dynatrace and Microsoft, we combined the automation of Azure Cloud with Dynatrace's advanced observability and automation to gain insights real time into what was happening. Now they can really scale with confidence since they, their problems have been reduced thanks to Dynatrace's AI and Azure. So thank you very much for taking the time to learn more about Dynatrace. Uh, you can scan this QR code with your phone. This is a quick way to get to that link to learn more about our Azure solutions. And we have many additional resources throughout the Microsoft Ignite sponsor page. So if you have any questions or you'd like to see a live demo, please use the one-on-one -on -one meeting function to speak to one of our experts.